Let's talk about the Android system safety core. And yeah, I just checked my phone guys and it seems that I have it installed and not only on my S25 Ultra but also on my S24 Ultra. And it's a bit concerning because yeah, I don't really know what this application is doing and there are not really a lot of things um, about this. It's the initial launch and about the application should provide safety features for Android devices. Android System Safety Core is a system service that provides safety features for Android devices. And I don't think it's particularly new because I scrubbed the internet. It seems this thing has been around since at least two, three months. Well, let's talk about it. Let's check what we uh, see online. And yeah, let's see what we're gonna do about that. Hey, Google. What is this thing? All right, let's try to find out. So here we are, and this is the Android System Safety Core. The first thing that I scraped online was an article on the Hacker News, and it says that Google has stepped in to clarify that the newly introduced Android System Safety Core app does not perform any client-side scanning of content. Android provides many on-device protections that safeguard users against threats like malware, messaging spam and abuse protection and phone scam protections while preserving user privacy and keeping users in control of their data, which is something I'll agree kind of nice and actually even must have. A spokesperson from Google shared this with the Hacker News when you know, they reached for comment. Safety Core is a new Google system service for Android 9 Plus, which means everybody out there rocking Android 9, 10, 11, 12, oh, you get a story, right? We do now have also Android 16, so everybody's gonna get this new service that will provide on-device infrastructure for securely and privately performing classifications to help users detect unwanted content. And again, I don't really see anything fishy here. Users are in control over Safety Core and Safety Core only classifies specific content when an app requests it to an option enabled feature. Now, I can get it like it sounds a bit too nerdy, but I think it makes sense. Now, something that kind of bothers me, uh, so apparently this was introduced by Google in October last year, and of course, a lot of people missed it. Hey, I missed it. As part of a set of security measures designed to combat scams and other content deemed sensitive on the Google Messages app for Android. And again, I don't see anything bad, but the next thing, shocked me, the feature will require two gigabytes of RAM and it's rolling on all Android devices running Android version 9 and later as well as those running Android Go, a lightweight version of the operating system for entry-level smartphones. Like guys, I mean, with the big phones, we have enough RAM already, like 12G, 16G, but if you do this on Android 9 old phones and Android Go and you take two gigabytes of RAM, mm, this is kind of interesting. And what is also interesting is that they roll also another application. This one, I don't have it on my phones. It's the Android system key verifier. The Android key verifier system service lets developers store end-to-end -end encryption keys and lets users verify that their apps are using the correct keys. Again, I don't necessarily see anything bad here. And it's a bit tricky because when you try to search some information, there is not really a lot. And this is the Play Store site for Android System Safety Core and you can see it has 5,000 reviews and they're all negative of course. People complain because they did not give any consent. Boom! At some point, yeah, we get it on our phones and not only this app appeared on three of my devices and I don't know what it does except completely screwing up the access to some sites if I have VPN. So it's messing with some people, right? And some people are saying this is Google spyware. Now, there is one document shared by Google where you can go and find more details and also, I guess, good enough technical information. So again, it says that the Android System Safety Core uh, is an Android system component. It provides privacy preserving on-device user protection infrastructure for apps. They provided uh, the signature of the APK and then they also shared the news about the Android System Key Verifier. Again here, then there is some descriptions around the threat model and the claimant model, the log content, and then there is a whole ecosystem diagram, really, you know, how it's supposed to work. All right, so this is it. We have an Android user, checks inclusion of a package metadata, we have a transparency log, it's being monitored, and the whole stuff with Google Play, and distributed six sign IAPK, the sign APK is the one that we got on our phones. The only thing that bothers me is the fact that it requires two gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, 
um, yeah, this is something that honestly I'm not okay with, but I want to check what happens on my S25 Ultra and probably also on my S24 Ultra. Right now, I'm not sure, guys, if I will remove it when you open the link. I'm going to provide a link down below in the comments. When you open the link on your phone, you have the chance to uninstall it. So now that we have some understanding on what this thing is, let's go back on my phone and check what happens there. So this thing here is my Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. And yeah, I have this application. It's called Android System Safety Core. It is really an application provided by Google because when you click here, you can check all the details. Now, guys, what I also did and you can also check on your phone when you go inside the settings and you just go to apps, all right? Just click on application and then make sure to have all the system apps. Because right now, if I type Android, I'm gonna be able to see all the Android applications that I have, like Android Auto, Switch, the system intelligence. This is this new thing here. It's Android System Safety Core. So I can clearly see it installed on my phone. And by the way, it's only taking like 47 megabytes. Now, the thing is, I am also using the memory guardian from the good guardians uh, to just check what is happening right now i don't see this application using any of my memory if you type core you can see i have the samsung core services and the samsung ai and if i'm to search for android you can see the android auto system intelligence system android system library so right now i'm not 100 sure if this thing is really taking up two gigabytes but it's still a bit of concerning so i will not uninstall it at this point of time but guys let me know what you think down in the comments and also go Go and check your phones again i'm going to put the link down below to google play store in the comments and it's going to be an easy check thank you so much for watching guys and if you like the case i'm using right now that's a banks case the montage r this is the armor pro montage version with kevlar 600d and 1500 i'm going to leave a link down below you can use my coupon it's valian for 15 percent discount and yes this is a way for you to support the channel also go and check my previous videos i have also some other cases hitting me in the next few weeks so make sure to watch the new videos thank you so much vst over and bye